This Hawk tutorial video will cover editing risk of bias or ROB questions and descriptions in Hawk. On the assessment landing page, choose Risk of Bias Settings from the Actions menu. This is the Risk of Bias Requirements page where ROB requirements and settings can be updated. Each question is a risk of bias metric, and risk of bias metrics are organized by domain. The default list of ROB questions and associated descriptions are representative of the NTP OHAT approach for evaluating risk of bias. Domains, risk of bias metrics, and their descriptions can be customized for an assessment. However, the risk of bias ratings or answers to the questions cannot be updated and will remain consistent with the NTP OHAT ratings. For more information about the NTP OHAT risk of bias evaluation approach, visit their website. To copy all ROB domains and metrics from another assessment, choose Copy from Existing from the Actions menu. Choose the assessment from which to copy from the drop-down menu at the top of the screen. Note that copying the approach from another assessment will delete all ROB information currently saved for the assessment. To complete the copy, click Save at the bottom of the page. To manually edit ROB metrics, domains, and descriptions for an assessment, Choose Update Requirements from the Actions menu. Here you can modify any ROB metric or description by clicking the Edit or Delete buttons next to the ROB metric of interest. Selecting Delete will prompt a warning asking, Are you sure you want to delete this risk of bias metric? Select Delete Metric or Cancel as appropriate. Selecting Edit will allow you to change the metric and description. The description for each ROB metric should provide the reviewer guidance for rating the risk of bias studies in the assessment. Also, use the checkboxes to indicate whether or not the question is required for animal bioassay studies and human epidemiological studies. Click Save to submit your changes. To create a new domain, click the Create New Domain button located at the top of the screen. Provide name and description for the new domain. Click Save to submit the entry. The new domain will now be listed at the bottom of the Risk of Bias Requirements screen. To update the name and description of an existing domain, choose Update Domain from the Actions menu for the domain of interest. Edit the name and description of the selected domain and click Save to submit your changes. The updated domain will now be visible on the Risk of Bias Requirements screen. To delete a domain, choose Delete Domain from the Actions menu for the domain of interest. This will prompt a warning asking, Are you sure you want to delete this risk of bias domain? Select Delete Domain or Cancel as appropriate. To add a new ROB metric within a domain, choose New Metric from the Actions menu for the domain of interest. This will bring you to a screen where you can add the name and description of the new metric. At this screen, you can also indicate if the new metric is required for animal bioassay studies, epidemiological studies, or both. Click Save to submit your changes. Your added metric will now be visible in the Risk of Bias Requirements screen. After finishing your changes, assigned ROB reviewers can begin evaluations using the ROB domains and metrics that have been customized for your assessment. For more information and for more Hawk tutorial videos, visit hawkproject.org.